up YouTube? What up, 21 fam? How are you? It's a lovely day. It's a brand new day. Podcast number 16, I think, or 15. One of them, I don't even care or count anymore. But yeah, welcome, guys. Thanks for joining me once again. And I hope there's enough lighting in here. It looks like there is. I can never get the lighting right because I haven't got any expert equipment. Um, I do need, like, a, a vlog room, don't I, really, to get the best lighting. But I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, I mean, it's been worse. <laughs> Could always be worse. Um, I've been away a while, it feels like. It hasn't been that long. It hasn't, but um, with the vlogs, I definitely need to be more consistent. I haven't been at all. Um, it's like, I'm out of practice as well. I don't know, maybe I just need to film more random stuff. Whatever the case, I'm going to do more of it, <laughs> basically. But yeah, we've had family over from Italy. My uncle, my aunt, and my cousin, of course. So we were busy, basically. Um, and yeah, the weather was not kind to us at all, if you if you know what I mean. Or well, you do, because you, if you live in the UK, you know what we're going through right now. Um, while in Italy, it's lovely and it's summer already. We're in June, though, guys, and it's, it's not June. It's like bloody February. I don't know what the hell's going on. Climate change. It's not global warming, that's for sure. Because it's bloody freezing. How can it be warming? I never understood that anyway. Um, yeah, I can't even remember what I talked about last time. Did I mention the Champions League? Because that was horrific, like, as a Spurs fan. Uh, didn't go our way. Um, more recently, Formula 1 didn't go Ferrari's way either. With that five-second penalty that, that Vettel got. And Hamilton got the winner as, as a result. When Vettel did all the effort. Um, that's a long, a long, long debate. And we can be here all day and there's two sides to every story. But it is racing, you know. Why Why are you going to do that when the guy was out of control, clearly? Like, he's gone off the track and you come back on the track. You're never going to have full grip. You have dirt on your tyres and all that. But I'm not here to talk about F1, really. It's just all, all that crap about politics like at the moment there's too much of it um, we're getting a new PM and the people on the list don't look good like Michael Gove could be one of them hence my main concern um, but it could be worse look at China they're all going mad in Hong Kong they're protesting because it's separate from the rest of China isn't it like the mainland and they've got like different rules uh, on, like in relation to like freedom basically so all the young people there protesting, I just saw that on the news right now. Literally, you can tell I haven't planned for this vlog at all. But yeah, protesting, you know. It's always non-violent and it gets violent. The more people there are, there's always some nut job. But may maybe there's a reason, most of the time there is. Um, and the odd innocent person gets nicked. Rubber bullets are fired. <laughs> We've all heard that before. I mean, wasn't there like an MP or something that got shot with a rubber bullet? A rubber bullet, I don't know why. Well, that's painful. It's still painful. It's not life and death, but it is painful. As far as I know, I don't know. I did shoot my brother with BB gun once. And I, I think he was exaggerating because he can't hurt that much. And that was funny though. Like, I didn't regret it at all. It's one, you know, guilt. No, no zero guilt was felt. <laughs> but yeah, so b rubber bullets, I don't recommend them. I don't know, I'm not an expert. But yeah, there's a lot when it comes to protesting there's always like police with riot gear basically. And just some crazy people just I don't know. In some cases they get smoke bombs or something, I don't know. Or it's just just uh cops throwing tear gas. Which is what happened in China most of the time. And people are like, that's a bit harsh. But I mean not everyone goes there to be be aggressive in a protest, trying to make a point, you know. We're all trying to make a point. But yeah, like I said, I had family over. Um, so I've been busy. Um, yeah, we, we got to go out a bit. Um, we didn't join them in central London because we'd done that before, and our brother was really busy at work at this time. This time of year, you know. Bearing in mind, last time they were here at Christmas, it was off. Um, so it was different. Um, we got to hang out nonetheless with my cousin. Um, went to St Albans one of the days. On, on, if you saw the vlog, that is. Um, yeah, that's my latest vlog anyway. So do check that out, guys. Uh, because 
you're part of the 21 fam, so why not? Um, so, you know, do you, well, check out the one before that even. We just, just watch a vlog of mine. No. Nah. Um, but yeah, so we got to go, we went to uh, St Albans, which is like a local like town. It's like, um, there's a lot of Roman ruins there, and there's a big cathedral, and just went around the park. It's quite a big park. And there's a waffle house there, so we had waffles. Um, so yeah, all in all, a fun day out. That was, what, Saturday? But yeah, they got here Thursday. Um, Friday, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Friday, I can't remember what we did. No, they went out, but we, we, we didn't, because of my brother. But most evenings we were out with friends, because um, my cousin already knows a few of our friends here. So it's good, uh, the social side. Um, Friday night, we just went to the local. Um, and nothing beats the local pub really it was quite funny um, but yeah they don't pubs don't do many cocktails do they or like those kind of drinks it's just like beer basically lager uh, spirits you know wine not much else really so yeah so um, that was a bit um, annoying for my cousin that was um, not what she's used to because Italy we have a lot of bars and they serve everything and they they give you way more than enough alcohol in each drink here that's just like an inch you know what I mean there it's like can I have a JD and coke no here's a glass with JD in it and here's some coke that's that's the the measurements we go by it's not like here it's just like oh a little uh, two fingers of whatever and then add whatever else you know um, but yeah, that's the local pub. What can you do? What can you do with the local pub? Um, so yeah, then Saturday went to another pub. Um, a local, what what kind of local? Uh, it's called the Bohemia. Um, if you're familiar with the area, it's like North Finchley. Um, just just say we don't go to the Tally Hut. We go there instead. <laughs> Big difference. Um, so yeah, we got in there. I didn't get ID'd for once. I normally get ID'd. Or it's just a it's just a respect thing in it. Um, my cousin did, because <laughs> she's always gets annoyed how people see her as younger than she is. Um, a lot of people get that. I mean, my brother doesn't get that. He gets like, oh, you're, you're definitely old enough. <laughs> it's the height, I think. Um, I don't know. And my high pitched voice, in my case, normally gets me ID'd. <laughs> uh, and then we caught up with a friend of mine, George friend of ours, um, who my cousin had met in December, by coincidence, we were in Camden and uh, he was there too. And again, like, without even knowing, he was there, like, uh, this time at the Bohemia, um, just came running out of nowhere, like, oh my god, <laughs> what are you doing here? I just love that when things happen that randomly, because we weren't even going to go out that evening, because my brother was kind of going to be selfish and go out with his crew and uh, not bring us which would have been annoying because like excuse me your cousin's here like what are you doing why why are you being a, a knob for I um, mean he, he has like two 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 sides to him like the the happy-go-lucky normal side well he needs a bit of alcohol for that but when he's driving he can't really drink can he so that's why it kind of pisses him off uh, but I don't blame him uh, you work that hard you know, you want your drink, oh, I want my drink, you know. Uh, I'm not good at doing impressions, but I do do a, a, a good uh, Mickey taking out of him. Um, no, it, it, it's not It's not uncommon for people to crave alcohol after a week of work. All that driving, he doesn't want to do more driving on the weekend. But yeah, so we went to the Bohemia. Uh, we persuaded him, because like, at the beginning I, I said to my cousin, like, I don't think he's taking us out. She's like, what, hold on. And then I was like, I think, just just have some faith, yeah. Let's let's go for a walk around the block. Let's uh, see what he he makes of the situation in his own brain. If he comes around, you know, I reckon he. I was like, oh, I reckon he will. He'll change his mind. He'll feel guilty, even though I don't don't know if he has a, any guilty bone in his body. Like, does he feel guilty? I don't know. We all do, but but in that situation, like. As a brother, that's what I'm saying, like, you don't, like, he doesn't care. Because before we, we were proper arguing Saturday, um, as you've seen from that vlog, 
when he when when he went and tried to kick me when I'm trying to vlog while he's sleeping. Bear in mind. So I probably deserve that. But yeah, you don't kick a guy. And of the way he's faking, he's asleep. He's pretending, and then suddenly, bang. It's good content. I love it when he gets angry on camera. And then he looks back and he just laughs. And he's like, <laughs> "Was that really me?" Is it, you know. And then you realise, oh damn, that was me. So then me, uh, me and my cousin were watching back the vlog the other day. Same thing. We're like, we're crazy. We, it's the best thing to laugh at yourself. It it's uh, well, some people aren't aware that that it's actually therapeutic, but it is. It helps. Um, so yeah, that was Saturday at Bohemia. Um, I've started drinking Jägermeister straight up with ice um, because yeah, I've changed drinks over the years. Like when I was a lot younger, when I first started drinking, it was Corona really or beer in general, and then shifted over to JD and Coke. I don't know how. I can't remember how, but was that someone's twenty-first or something? I just suddenly started drinking JD and Coke. Did that for a while, then it was like Southern Comfort and Coke or like rum or things like that. I never really got into vodka and orange or anything like that or lemonade. And then it, for a long time it was JD. Um, and then, well, Jaeger Meister started to like that. I was having that for a bit as well. Then I shifted to gin, like from the last, like since like October, since I had my stomach problem just to be easier on my stomach, basically. Um, yeah, this is my, my alcohol life, basically. Um, it's not an addiction. You're only an addict if you drink from the bottle, and I don't do that. But yeah, of course, in Italy, there's other drinks. You know, I, like, I like limoncello, I like Montenegro, which is good for digesting, really. Like, you drink that after you eat. Um, but yeah, it was JD for a long time. Gin, and now it's Jaeger and, and ice. Which is a bit heavy, but it does get me drunk quicker. Because with gin, I don't get drunk. I don't know. You need to drink more of it, and then you've got lemonade. I, I do it with lemonade, because I just do not want to drink that other stuff. What's it, that tonic water? No. Mass loves it, just sips it down. Little bro just can't help himself. Good old gin. <laughs> it's not bad, uh, you know. I've got to find something else to drink it with, but yeah. So... That's, that's what I drink right now, that's what I was drinking Saturday. The Behemoth is a favourite of mine, I mean, we don't go there that often. Bearing in mind, we've got an end of season, Pouch of, my Pouch of Football team, we've got an end of season dinner, which we're going to be eating at a restaurant near there. Well, it's like lunch. But and then after we're going to the Behemoth, we've got it booked. It's in this pub. Um, so yeah, I want to show everyone my, my ends, my neighbourhood, excuse the slang. You know, my area, if you will. My postcode, innit? Um, no. Nah. Um, so that's going to be fun. So it was there Saturday. That turned out a really good night, even though it wasn't planned. Like I said, my brother was being a knobhead about it. And then he changed his mind, because he did say to me before we go out, like, don't ask me where we're going, because I ain't going to answer. And, you know, he was just going to get pissed off. So I was like, fine, I won't say nothing. Then, of his own accord, he came around. I knew, because he asked, asked me in the end. Because with him, when you ask him something, it's just like, nah. Nah, I'm not doing it, you know. You, and then you ask him again, and you just make it worse for yourself. Just dig the hole deeper. Um, and please doesn't help either. Some people it does, but with him, nah. I, this is just a rant about my brother, in it? But this is a podcast. I have the gift of the gab. I was chatting to a good mate of mine earlier, and he was like, so what are you going to talk about? I was like, not a clue, but I'll think of something, I'll see something on the news, and I have got the gift of the gap. So, here we are, me using that. Um, so yeah, that was Saturday night. Was it Saturday night? Yeah, and then Sunday, sorry, we went to St Albans. And it was nicer weather, yeah, I'll be honest. But my cousin, she loves ducks. She loves animals in general, but ducks. She's going crazy for all the ducks at the park. Like, you would think I'm talking about a four-year-old. But no, I'm talking about a 20-year-old. Um, that's quite funny. Um, I don't mind animals, but I don't go crazy for any animal. I don't know, I've got a cat. Cats don't really care as such. They're cute, but they don't really care. Like, if your house is on fire and you're burning alive, they'll just not care. They'll just 
watch you burn alive, basically. A dog might actually try and save you. A bit more loyal. Like, because they kind of, they need you to survive. A cat just needs you for food. But really, they can find their own food. Like, our cat used to kill birds for fun. And not even eat them at the end, so. Just pure ruthlessness. But yeah, ducks, I don't know. And geese. I don't know what geese are in Italian, but yeah, they were ducks. Um, a lot of ducks and geese. No swans, though. When I think of swans, I always think of that line from Hot Fuzz. You know, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. They're like one of them swans, then. Because there's, there's that scene where someone phones him up and he's like, I've lost my swan. What's your name? Mr. P.I. Yeah, P.I. Is Taker. Was it? P.I. Double S. Yeah, Piss Taker. He spells it. That's a, such an old joke. And you just spell it out and you're trying to get them to say, like, some rude words. But yeah, so we, we think it was Stephen Merchant who was finding them up about the missing ducks. Swans. I'm going off topic. But yeah, get that rule about um, not being a, it's illegal to harm a swan in England. Well, I don't know why you, why someone would go out to kill, like, a duck anyway, or, or any, any sort of bird in the park. It's like, that's messed up. But yeah, so you can't harm swans, because the Queen will actually arrest you. Or, I don't know, something to do with the royal family. Bearing in mind, she's a bit old for, for punishing people with crimes, like for crimes, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, my cousin and my uncle and aunt, they did see uh, the Queen on the balcony and in a in in carriage, because it was part of the D-Day, like, remembrance, celebrations thing. Because that's been, like, ongoing for a week. And, yeah, it's one of them weeks. It's, like, very patriotic, you know. Proud to be British, you know, that kind of kind of time of year, you know. Flyovers and whatnot. Great. It's, like, great to remember, like, all people that fought for what we have today. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, but, you know, there's still war today and all this. And, like, some people, like, have negative views on, on it. But people gave their lives for, like, how we live today, I guess. Um, you know, lest we forget. Um, yeah, I, I always um, think about that every now and then, you know. Well, bearing in mind now I'm a Pink Floyd fan, and they talk a lot about war and, like, people being lost at war and stuff. But, you know, you can't, like... There's some people that are, oh, yeah, we need world peace, so they don't agree with people who go to war, but, like, you, you're serving, like, a purpose. Well, hopefully. Um for your country, um, for freedom, for like your family, following generations, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, so that was Sunday. Saw some ducks, waffles, we had a lot of waffles. Well, we had one and we split it, me and my cousin. My brother's like one of them diet people, he didn't care. But then after they both stopped and got burrito, burrito place in St Albans, who would have thought? I never would have expected that, but yeah. And they were pleasantly surprised, I would too, with the quality, to be honest, I, I didn't have one, because after you've eaten a waffle, why are you going to eat any more, but yeah. So, and, and then of course, when we're, when we're in a car, it's just proper hip-hop all the way, and like, banging tunes. And of course, I'm always DJ, because, you know, long before YouTube, I was, like, a, well, I still am obsessed with music, but like, I was focused on being a, a radio DJ like properly obsessed um, but here I am on YouTube it's not far off to be honest well it's more like a talk show in it but it's that kind of idea when you're presenting a show of some kind that's what I feel like anyway I mean um, trying to keep it fresh on this channel but it doesn't always work I mean a podcast is just you talking about whatever whatever's going on and I just got stories to tell you guys, basically, as I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I do recommend the Waffle House in St Albans. I've been there a few times now, a fair few times. I, I went to the same, did the same thing, like, I mean, when I graduated from uni, like, 2016. But it, I'd already graduated, I had the graduation ceremony. It was just like, the year after I had to retake an essay or a module or something. And then I had officially passed and got my grade, my 2-1, which a lot of people would kill for today, people going to uni, um, 
Anyone going to uni, yeah, get a 2-1. I advise, I advise getting a 2-1. It's better for getting a job, for sure. Um, like a friend, friend of my brother's is finding out as he's getting into the world of work now. Having finished uni. Well, a few of his friends have finished uni. Many of my mates have long finished uni. Or not gone to uni in the first place. I wouldn't say it's, it's pointless, but it depends what you're going for. Everyone's different, you know. Everyone... Depends what you're studying as well, but... Everyone has different, like... Ways, if you know what I mean. Ways of studying and, like, socialising. It's good for some people, for some it's not. Um, I don't think I totally needed it. But it was alright. I learned a lot. I met a lot of new people. Made some great friends. We should do more socialising than working, to be honest. Obviously, you want to get the grade, but, like... If you're going to uni, just... Make the most of the social side. Get to know as many people as you can. Don't stay in one clique or one group. Well, uni's different. There's not really cliques as such. Because they mix all the classes around. You end up having to do group work with other people anyway. So then you like know that. Oh, hey, I know you from that class. And then there you go. But yeah, don't get into a clique. Like, secondary school is, is, all, is all about that, isn't it? What clique are you in? Or are you in any of them? <laughs> um... But yeah, uni's completely different, like, the freedom is, like, up to you, because you're the one paying nine grand a year, and that's going to be in debt until you, you pay, you know, you've paid all that money back. So it's up to you if you want to get the grade. Like, nobody's going to be like, oh, come on, you got to work harder. They might have a little moan, lecturers and teachers, but really, they're just there to give you the tools to get the grades. Really. Um, half of them don't, couldn't give a shit, to be honest. Some of them kind of care, but they've still got their own lives, you know. Um, and if you're like, that kid that, like, after every class waiting behind asking them questions, you know you're just annoying the hell out of them. Um, but you got to do what you got to do. Screw that. I mean, screw how they feel, really. Because you're there to get that grade, and that's it. But, yeah, don't forget to be social, you know. Don't get stuck with one group. You know, get to know as many people as you can. Get as drunk as possible. But at the same time, try and write essays. Or whatever you do, or try and get work done somehow. Get to lectures at 9am. Something I kind of did, but... Coffee always helps. Um, lucky at our uni, at the Middlesex Uni in Hendon, there's like a Starbucks or, and or a Costa inside. So everyone's just coming in with Costa coffee mugs. Mugs. <laughs> Double mean in there. And coffee. But if I could do it again, I'd probably study something different. I don't know. I, I, I mean, journalism is pretty simple. Out of all the things I could have chosen, it's probably the easiest. Probably why I chose it, really, if you think about it now. But yeah, going back to what I was talking about anyway. Yeah, you can go, I mean, uni, you can go to any age. Um, my cousin, she hasn't chosen to come to uni. She's getting her driving license at the moment. Um, but I mean, why rush? I mean, for anyone, like, why? Oh, I've got to go to uni straight away. Wait a year, you know. It's people who just do that thing where they go around the world and find themselves. Whatever that means. <laughs> find out that they're actually normal and as annoying and obnoxious as everyone else. That's probably what people find out on these things. Nothing good. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. Uni. Um... But no, yeah, um, not not everyone. Uh, Italy is different, but no, my cousin is good at um, she, she's good at languages, to be honest. German and, and and English, obviously. And when you've got a cousin that can teach you English, it's easy as hell. And then uh, you know, the rest the rest is the rest is easy. Um, so then, yeah, Monday, what do we do? Oh, I had dentist Monday, didn't I? We didn't hang out with them in the daytime, in the evening. I think we got a pizza, yeah. Went to a restaurant in Whetstone. Cocorico. <laughs> Italian, of course. Um, I got had a pizza, didn't I? Of course, you, you know me. Margarita pizza all the way. Um, and, of course, alcohol was present. But I didn't... I wouldn't say I'd, when my parents are around, I, I don't drink near as much. Like, If you're out with, a, with your family for a meal, you're not going to get shit-faced, are you? Why would you? It's just going to embarrass everyone. But you're um, you're there to eat, you're not there to drink. 
but normally we do drinks after, like the young people, if you will, or you know, go to a pub after. But um, being Italian, we have to, most nights, like if we do go pub, me and my brother, in general, we'll eat at home and then go out. It's weird because everyone else is just out already the whole time, and they'll eat out and that's it, or get pissed and then eat after, like eat some unhealthy food, kebab, McDonald's, whatever. Or in Massey's friend's case, pizza. Like, at midnight. Why not? Problem is, it's down the road from the pub, but you can't really go in the pub with the pizza. So you've kind of got to eat the pub while walking home. Or outside. It's not bad if it's nice weather, but look at today. Look at this week. Uh, I just hope I'm not ill again, because all this weird weather's got me messed up. Um, so I'm always on... I'm on the paracetamol just to make sure. Don't want another cold. Last time it was annoying and it just stops me doing this. What I love basically. Um, just chatting utter bollocks. Um, but why why not swear? I mean, for so long I have that debate like about swear swearing on the podcast. The vlog maybe it's different, I don't know. But it depends, like if I'm just talking randomly, I'm not gonna just, you know, swear for the sake of it. I mean, unless I'm getting demonetized for that. Who knows? <laughs> YouTube is just crazy at the moment. So many channels getting blocked completely. Or, like, cancelled. It's cancel culture, isn't it? It is part of our society. Um, and this country is going downhill with whoever takes over in charge, because it's already a mess. You know, it's not like make England great again. Like, make America great again, you know. It wasn't great in the first place. We've been having Brexit debates, Brexit, whatever. Like people have been killing each other at Brexit since 2016. So it's like three years. And um, where are we now? We're in the same boat. Still, like, what's going on? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I, I just don't want to get involved. It's just funny. Like, in from some ways, it's funny. Like, the chaos that's going on. Like these people, like. Uh, uh, they're they're not doing their job. I mean, what job if if they even know what their job is anymore? Just like Michael Gove doesn't take over. Uh, I just hope, like, please no, because it's come out that this guy's like a former cocaine addict or a dr drug user. I don't know. So is Boris. Well, Boris is obvious, isn't it? But Boris Johnson for me is like a B Tech Donald Trump kind of. He's probably just as sexist and like ignorant in certain things and just set in his own ways you know he, he wouldn't be good either for this country but Trump thinks so so that's one other reason to say no Boris stay away from the PM like seat or whatever it's called is it called a seat no I don't know whatever but um yeah when, when he if, if he ever does when he resigns, he won't be crying, that's for sure. He'll probably be laughing, like, you know, or doing something weird like he normally does. But yeah, that's that's politics. Is it really, or is it just a game? Who knows anymore? Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty like, annoyed everyone's gone. Not annoyed, but like, oh, everyone's gone home now. But it won't be long before I'm in Italy, vlogging again in the sun. Can't wait. I want to, want to get some good vlogs done here. Still got the um, that, the Barnet Festival that's always in the local park that I normally try and get in the vlog at some point. I was there last year and the year before. Both time, well, both times by coincidence. Definitely the first time I had no idea and I was like, oh, look, the park. There's a fair. I better vlog that. I'll do that again for sure. Can't wait. For actual, actual good weather. In Italy, it's like 30 degrees. There's people fainting from the heat, and here we just. Well, we just. It's English, English weather. British summertime. That's what I call it. Because it's not actually summertime. Trust, we'll get a nice April and September. April, August. Yeah, I hope when I come back for my birthday, it'll be nice. Because this is the first year that I'll be actually in England for my birthday. Because normally it's after the 28th we come back around the 30th, like, or even September we come back. But yeah, we're coming back a bit earlier for the first time 
in a long time. Then on the 31st of August, I've got the Machine Gun Kelly concert. Uh, legend, just absolute legend. I'm just proper lucky to, to have got those tickets. Uh, in Camden at the Electric Ballroom. Um, not the biggest of places. It's going to be chaos in there. It's going to be proper mess. But in a good way. Like if I thought the Jeezy concert was crazy last year, that was around this time last year. No, that was the 1st of June last year. And that was crazy, but this will be even more crazy. Because the venue is half the size. Because remember the Jeezy concert was at, at the O2 Academy Brixton. And Camden's just easier to get to. And probably a bit safer. Because everyone, like the whole family was worried when we were taking my cousin to, to Brixton. They're like, okay. You know, how many stabbings have happened? Here? That kind of thing. Come on, it's not that bad. Like 20 years ago, it was worse. Things changed. Like Camden's weird and all that, but it's not that bad. Bear in mind, I'm going to Camden next week on Saturday with a good friend of mine from football. Um, so that, that's going to be fun. That place I went, I've been there before, Shaka Zulu in Camden, just because it's got loads of space, basically, and good food. I had the Oh, I love the ribs, but they do a good steak there. Not cheap at all, but like, good for one of them nights out that doesn't come around too often. You know, if you're going to splash the cash, you know, if you're going to go out, go out properly. We don't do that all the time. Um, but when we do, we do it right. And half the waiters are Italian anyway. And that'll be next Saturday. And then Sunday, I got a barbecue at another friend of mine. Uh, he's got his new house. So it's like, I'm bringing. I'm definitely bringing something to like. like what do you do when someone has a new house? You bring like some sort of cake or alcohol or something just to. I don't know, like Chris in the house. I don't know. Something like that when someone has a new house. It's not like a housewarming party. It's more like barbecue, drinks, friends, lads. So that'll be next weekend. So I'm going to be busy next weekend. The sun better be out because who wants to have a barbecue in the rain? Not me. I, I'm not a fan of cold weather at all. I need heat. I should live in a hot country. Why am I living here? It's true though. I mean, not everyone though. This mate of mine, why I'm going to this barbecue, he's really not a fan of hot weather at all. So this suits him fine. So yeah, just better not rain that day. So we've got a lot of things coming up. And my mum and my grandma are off to America to see all the family they got out there. We got out there. Well, my grandma has got a lot of family there. My granddad too, but mainly my grandma. Uh, well, obviously, most of them are they are family. You know what I mean? But on uh, my grandma's side, uh, her brother, her sister, all the nieces and nephews and the kids, and my cousin is out there with her kids in Connecticut as well. So they're going to go and see all them. Leave us the lads to it here. You know, be me, and my my brother, and my dad, and my granddad, all cooking. We'll, we'll find a way. Well, my granddad probably can boil an egg, but that's about it. Uh, my brother's alright. Dad's alright. No, my brother's quite good, actually. Dad seems to think he knows more than he actually does. He knows enough, though. Um, you know, you can find more than an egg. And my mum's written it all down. She's putting loads of food in the freezer that if we run out of food, you know, we don't panic. Um, probably be down to me to do half the shopping in the daytime, anyway, when they're all at work. Just phone me up, oh yeah, get this. But I don't mind, we'll do it, it'll be fun. And I bet you there'll be a heat wave and then my mum will be in America and it won't even be nice there. And you know, she'll come back and it'll start raining. Not saying anything by that, but you know what I mean. Probably, I don't know. But So we've got a lot going on, really. But it's the, it's the end of the patch of football season, so my weekends are a bit more open. But I can't wait for that to start again already. Because, like... Pouch of football is hitting a new all time high because of the success, the international level, the England team. The success they had in Europe now, winning the Euros, the equivalent of the Euros in Pouch football, beating the reigning champions, France. So, sport is just on another level, on an all time high. Everyone's really like, I don't know, excited for the new season as well because there's so much hope now and they've got the World Cup in two years time in Australia 
I, I've always wanted to go to Australia, so I might for that, but that's too far off. Too far off to think about that now. But what a great time to be a Pacho football player. So many great young players coming through too. Just one of the teams that within my club. Shame about them, they didn't do enough to stay in the championship. So unless, I mean, there is another team in the championship that might fold and then one of the teams from our club will get their place. Um, but I hope so because they allowed players from the development team or the fourth team, if you like, to filter up to that team and then go from there. So if that particular team within our club goes bust, then it's not good. Well, they're going to disband anyway. I just hope they don't. As long as this other team in the in the championship pull out, but you know, I, it's, it's always a shame. There's more teams than spaces in the Premiership and the Championship. There's teams outside of that that, you know, haven't got as much money or resources, you know, things like that. Because players move on, you know, some players get classified out of the game because of too much ability, like being too able-bodied. We're all disabled, you know, but, you know, they're going to categorise it. They've got to. It's only fair. And it seems to be working, right? It's been a long time that they've been doing that now. It's based on the neck movement and stuff and like your upper body strength. Some people have more than others depending on the condition really. Um, if you want to be an Olympic sport, that's the way to go. Because that's what most Paralympic sports do. Um, so hopefully then we have that as well as the World Cup. So maybe more chance for other players to get in if it's a slightly different setup, team wise. But yeah, there's so many great players. Younger players younger generations of players coming through, of course, the ones with the England team. They're all top players. I've had the luxury of playing alongside some of them and against most of them over the years. Um so it's just great to see this combination of success with older players and younger players. Players that have been in that team a long time and lost a few big games tried and tried again and they succeeded so that's all that matters really with whatever you do you just got to keep going and then you get there um, if you don't try you never know basically um, but I mean I, I, I've always loved the sport to be honest with whatever team I'm in like you know just the thrill you get playing even training like it, it's great and to take you guys along and to vlog when I'm doing that is great. Of course, in real matches, I can't really do that. But like I've done in the past, I've got my brother to film or whoever else has filmed has given me the footage. So I'm trying to keep keep that going in the new season. Um, keep it more more regular, like keep you more involved in that, like updated in that. But yeah. So, I've been talking for about half an hour, I thought it was longer than that. But that's not, I never thought that's quite long enough for a podcast. But, uh, my shortest has been 43 minutes, I think. But I was doing like an hour and a half in the past. Um, and you see Logan Paul goes on for ages on his. But it depends on, the, well, I haven't got guests. It's just me. I'm a guest on my own channel. Louisie21 asks Louisie21. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? It's me asking me questions. But I haven't planned this one and I don't always plan them, sometimes I do. If something really annoys me or pisses me off or makes me laugh, I'll put it in here. But every now and then I end up talking about that the same thing on the vlog. So it's like trying to mix and match both. I mean, if I'm going to do more vlogs, then it might affect the podcast. If I'm going to do more podcasts, it might affect the vlogs. But I do feel on the vlogs I just chat too much rubbish. Sometimes. It just depends where you are, the environment in which you're in. Central London is the best. I was re-watching some old videos of my cousin from when she came last year, or in 2017. And it was great. It was just London is, is the best for vlogging. There's so much to see, so much going on. And you, I can comment on it as I go. If I'm just in and around the local area, you know, going down the shops, well, what's the point? But hopefully I'll get back to going to the park. And there's just so so many scenarios that I get into that end up being funny out of nothing. Like when I least plan for it, 
or at least the vlogs I least think about end up being the funniest and like the other day with my brother that was just banter and it, it came out good like the bit about the running gear like he said running gear means selling drugs as well but running gear is in running gear and now I say it, it just sounds like I'm saying that again and again but I mean there were people in running gear because there was a marathon in St Albans the same day we were there funny enough a brother a former teammate of mine was there running that race I think it was a half marathon but yeah so I was in the vlog I was like talking about this how there was people in running gear and then my brother's next to me it's just like what you mean running gear like there's people running gear <laughs> come on I mean together it's just ultra comedy the more people involved it's just funny we bounce off each other with comedy me and my brother um, and aggression sometimes and violence you may think, yeah, there's no violence, but the violence goes both ways. You may think, oh, poor me, I'm getting beaten up, and he's ever body than he's not. But that's not the case. I can injure him just as much emotionally as well. And trust me, I've run him over a few times. I remember once, I, I, like, he was sitting on the edge of the bed, and I kid you not, I drove into his shin with the footrest of my chair, which is metal, and he's got a dent in the shin. Or he had a dent in the shin from that. And yeah, I, I don't do that that often, but you get me going the right way, yeah, trust me. Well, over him anyway, no one else, but yeah, brotherly love, innit? But yeah, for the vlogs, it just makes great content. It's just fun to do as well, like, we don't plan it out. I mean, you see so many vloggers just go through hours and hours of planning for a vlog. And it does get a lot of views, but not always. And maybe they exaggerate and they don't act themselves. But I'm trying to be honest here. I mean, honest comedy is the best way. I mean, you know, you pay to see a comedian, but the best comedy you'll get from some old geezer down the pub, or I've learned like in Italy, like there's so many funny, like funny characters, like in my family, let alone like in the town, in the village, or wherever we go. There's always just someone just with some crazy story, and the Italians when we tell stories, we get into detail, we get into proper detail. I mean, even even my cousin Fabio being from the same town as my dad, it's a small town, and like there's so many characters they talk about over the years and like stories to tell, like from when my cousin was younger as well. Uh, it was just a lot of banter, things like that. That's the real comedy, really. Like I've never gone to a comedy show if you like. I've wanted to in the past. I did have tickets for one, but I think I was ill or was it? Where was I? I was somewhere anyway, and my brother and my uncle went instead. It was that Paul Chowdhury, um, great comedian, a bit younger, um, Asian guy, he's good though, as far as I know, or my bro from what my brother told me, but I, w I wouldn't mind going to a comedy store, you know, that's a different style of, of, like, being in front of a crowd or on camera, you know, live audience, you get a real feel of the impact you're having, like good or bad. <laughs> you get booed and heckled or you get cheered and like people will be laughing and resonating with what you're saying I mean I'm trying to resonate with someone on this vlog on this podcast um, I hope it does um, real stories really is, is what I'm going for as well as keeping up to date what's going on in the news stuff like that a lot of football gossip going on at the moment but I want to keep away from that because like it's not for everyone I mean if you want gossip about football, you don't need to watch me. There's far better places to go for that, but... Sky Sports News, you know. I'm just relaying what they're saying, you know. But I am happy that Inter Milan got Antonio Conte as a new manager. And Italy have been winning their games, the international games. Uh, qualification for the Euros. Beat Bosnia 2-1 yesterday. I did say I wasn't going to talk about football. I mean, I talk about football enough all day like with friends and stuff but yeah I, I tried to keep that out of the vlog of course when England got to the semis last year in the summer that was like just crazy I had to talk about that the way we got there as well and then obviously, obviously we didn't get any further than the semis but it was good to dream a bit like Spurs this year we were dreaming dreamland <laughs> and we got so close to the final you know having not bought a lot of players 
but now we've got 300 million to spend Daniel Levy actually opened his wallet and let some money out because <laughs> well you built this new stadium that's a lot of money going going out there so winning the Champions League would have given us more money even getting to the final gives you a lot of money so we'll take it we'll take it but yeah where is this bloody summer do you tell me when it's summer leave a comment if it's summer where you are you're probably far away on the other side of the bloody earth but you know could be worse could be snowing or well, snowing's not that bad but yeah I just crave the hot weather like we can be out at night in just a t-shirt because me I feel the cold more than most people annoyingly my brothers are always always cold oh shut up you're always cold you know <laughs> he comes home and he's sweating and he's hot so why you got the heating on well, it's cold you know put the heating on what else am I going to do I'm sitting here all day he's walking around running around doing work sweating obviously it's weird me and my dad feel cold mum and my brother are always hot it's like different people you know and then me I just got the heating on and they they got the, the window open and they're throwing out £10 notes you might as well be the heating's on full blast you've got the windows open it's just throwing 10s and 20s out the window there's no difference but yeah um, speaking of weather well, when I mean Italy is a lot better than this I mean even now like, you know. but in the summer we do in a night where we just stay up all night till like 7am just banter and alcohol and whatever else us Italian people do um, yes yeah, so, because we've got like a great group of friends out there half of them are probably related to us but yeah, some of them like call us cousins when I don't even know how they're related to me but they are somehow and it's from this little town uh, because not everyone in this is I'm talking about where my parents my mum my mum's parents are from my mum's side where they all live in Italy um, they all come from that surrounding cities and towns to this little village for the summer because that festival they do it's like a saint's day where they carry like a giant statue of like someone some religious saint and yeah Catholics what can you say and then we eat loads and drink loads but yeah on the day after that particular festival or festa whatever you call it um, all the young people do like this all night thing we stay up all night possibly go out somewhere then just stay up in the town all night just wandering from like we've got so many spots we hang out at like at night everything changes literally there's more going on uh, but yeah that particular day will be till like 7am when a normal night is like 5am we're going to bed <laughs> so not much difference but yeah the sun has to come up it's a, we call it after me and my friends and it's just what we look forward to every year to be honest last year probably got a bit ill because of that I don't know because we had pizza at 2am just to keep us going till the morning then I had a few coffees I don't know why we're having coffee in the morning we haven't slept all night because it's not like we need to stay up longer what you really need to do is just go to bed till like 3pm and then get up again and do the same thing but what we do in most days is like we, we get up by about 12 um, so that means lunch, my grandma's cooking lunch eating lunch then go to sleep chill out a bit, like this is like afternoon and you get up again have another coffee or something maybe not me but my brother did uh, or most people do eat something else then go out then maybe eat later or like I don't know it's just more going out than here it's just another another life and to be in that all the time is too much like a month a year is fine of that but too much of that it messes with your head it stops you wanting to ever work or do anything with your life but I've got a story about one guy who like he had work the next day right and he was like, he, like when his car was like parked outside the bar He's like, said to his mate, he's like, okay, I'm going to go and sleep in the car for two hours. Um, wake me up at whatever time and bring me a coffee, please, because I've got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it doesn't happen here. Uh, and the bar's open all night and all day. But what I regret doing, was it this year or the year before? I was still drinking at like 5am. 
I went and got JD and Coconut, and even the grown men in there are like, you know, or even the older fellas, like, are like, what are you doing? Why, why are you having this now? But they're like, you're a legend at the same time. Really, I should, be, should have been having coffee, but I'm drinking JD at five in the morning. Not a good idea. And then the same day, I probably told you this before, but my uncle from it, like, my uncle who lives here, he was over for a holiday as well. Because obviously in the summer it was my uncle's, my other uncle's wedding. So he was over and he's getting up, uh, getting ready to go to the airport at like 7am. 7, 7 and we're sitting at the bar. He thinks we've been to bed and got up again, but no. We've been at the bar all night and we're still there. He's like, okay, uh, you know, why do you got, what are you guys doing up early? We're like, uh, we didn't go to bed. Obviously, my grandma thinks we, because we came back at 2am to eat pizza, like I said. And my grandma thinks we came back at 2am 2, 2 and went to bed, but now we ate pizza and we went out again. Uh, obviously, she didn't know that. And she did find out eventually because people got big mouths. <laughs> but yeah, so my uncle was like getting up to go to the airport and we're just still there. It's just the most weird situation. Because the bar is literally not even 100, like 100 meters from the house. Like the bar's there, there's a hill going down, maybe three houses, two houses, and then there's my grandparents' house where we stay when we're in that town. Of course, we go to, my, to our flat in my dad's town and stay there for most of the holiday. But there's a week when we go to, to that side. To the it's, it's called Candida, by the way. And this year they got a famous Italian singer come in, to sing live. Every year they got a famous singer, or quite a popular singer. So yeah, we'll be seeing that, and hanging out with all our crew, friends, family. It's like full on out there. There's no rest days. That's why here is like complete opposite. Got too much time on my hands. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can probably tell that like, even talking about it just makes my day. It just cheers me up. Like, it's quality. Here, it never would never work that way. Um, it just you, you can't. Even in the summer, because it's probably cold at night. But yeah, I'm saying Italy, you can be out at night and there's you're not worried about being cold. I'm not worried about being cold, and that doesn't happen on, honestly. But maybe I'll be a bit more prepared for this all night thing. Like, I don't know, bring bring some warmer clothes, just in case. You never know. Um, but it, it's great to see the sunrise. That's what you wait for, really. And you still got a hangover. You haven't got a hangover because you haven't gone to sleep and woken up yet. And then all, all the old people just think we're, we're up early, you know, to see the sunrise. No, we didn't go to sleep. And, like, yeah. I'll take that over any shitty resort in Spain no, no shitty but you know what I mean or I'd be for I'll take it over that any time and real friends I'll take that over that any time yeah it's real though because these kids they're like they literally I don't know they live on hope I would say and hope isn't always a good thing to live on but like the hope of getting out of there of starting a life but always being able to come back and be with your family you know they go during the year and they come back for the summer. It brings you back. No matter how far you go, you're going to come back. They're living in Napoli. People living in America, in England, go back there every year. It's something pulls you in if you're from there. I mean, when I was younger, I had issues that I felt like an outsider, but I really don't now. I mean, everyone know, knew my granddad, so they kind of knew me. And um, you just have got fame. We have fame out there, me and my brother probably. In that town, everyone knows who we're related to, who we are, you know. Here, you won't see the same person twice. Ever. London is for the tourists. You know. Um, but yeah, that is probably about it for today. I want to play some FIFA. I need to fix this Bose speaker I have for my TV. Because it doesn't work for some reason. And the sound on the TV is terrible. Yeah, basically. I need my bass back. The Bose provides the bass, and you can't listen to music or do anything about bass. And it's probably a shorter podcast than you're used to, but yeah, a bit different, just me talking randomly. But yeah, family is important, and friends, of course. Like I said, my cousin and my uncle Martin gone back to Italy. We'll see them in the summer, 
it won't be long, we just cause chaos. Um, it's just great. I mean, I already had so many cousins, and then you get one more, and it's great. <laughs> um, so technically step cousin, but yeah. We're Italian, we let anyone, you know, we just... I don't know, families are big enough, but why not make the family bigger, you know? We've got so, so many cousins as it is, so it's great. Like, some of them, like, they're real cousins, blood cousins, I'm related to them, and I don't get on with them as much, and I don't see them as much, or they don't make the effort, or vice versa. But, you know, sometimes you just click with people, whether they're related to you or not, because, you know, you can't choose your family. You're stuck with them. Um, but yeah, as they're going back, life goes on, really. I mean, I used to get a lot sadder when holidays were over, and people finished visiting, like, the holiday in Milan and, and Lake Garden, that was just quality that was. And then I got ill at the end, but all was fine, all was well. Even there it was cold and a bit rainy, but that was April, is April showers. But yeah, just a great holiday that was. More of the same in the summer. I don't actually know how many vlogs I'm going to do. I might not do too many, but I'll get a lot of content for sure. I don't know how I'm going to categorise the content into how many days or what, I don't know two or three days for each vlog. Depends how much I film. Um, I will try and keep you updated. Hopefully through Instagram as well. Maybe upload a bit there. I haven't done a live stream for ages. Playing any sort of video game. I said I would last time but I couldn't be bothered. But I, don't know, I might I might today, I might. I might do, whatever. Um, thank you guys, I mean... Hopefully more of the same, more of the same of these podcast more recent recent more like often that's the word that is the word I'm looking for and thank you guys just like I think I said it in the last one like forget the haters like don't worry about the haters just keep doing your thing do whatever you do I hope this puts a smile on you in some on your face in some way uh, makes you laugh or resonate in some way or think about something that's great to you on your own holidays or wherever you go if you've got a lot of family that live in another country as well I'm not the only one um, but yeah like I've said on that vlog in the past my Italian passport is on the way so I'm going to have two passports can't wait for that then you know probably safer to travel the world in an Italian with an Italian passport certain countries won't let you in with a British passport they just laugh at you you know but yeah that's the current situation I'll let you know when I get that um, Keep it real, guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, yeah. That's what I'm going to say. Thank you. Take it easy. Peace.